Claus Kauda er last night apparently the temperature got down to minus 6 Uh, people at the BBC <laughs> casually have a little glance as they walk by, say nothing about a man in a tent in these temperatures with some protest signs. They don't stop, they don't talk, they don't engage. Who is that man? Why is he here? Oh, he's accusing the BBC. Must be a mental health condition. It's terrible, isn't it? Journalists walk by these signs in the middle of winter, taking no notice whatsoever. There goes one for you. Won't ask a question. Harvey Proctor's mate, isn't it? I've spoken to Harvey recently. Do you know that? Yeah, I've spoken to him about his campaign. Yeah, it's a bit one-sided, his campaign, isn't it? Mr. Paris. It's a bit one-sided, his campaign, isn't it? He seems to think that he's a spokesperson for those who are abused in childhood, your friend, Harvey Proctor. A sexual sadist. Matthew Parrish, or Paris, whatever his fucking name is. Harvey Proctor's mate. Anyway, I'm clearly here because it's just a mental health condition. You know, somebody not dealing well with their child abuse. Not dealing with it well because the police won't take a statement about it. So, yeah. YouTubers should be asking themselves why the police will not take a statement. I mean, if I'm another lying fantasist, that plays into people's hands very nicely, doesn't it? Uh, we won't have uh, one, Carl Beach. Two, Andrew Ash. Three, Darren. We'll have four, Cliff, Paula. Uh, all people who've lied about who abused them in childhood. Uh, and they can lock me up for perverting the course of justice. Uh, and that'll play very nicely in the hands of Prince Andrew. You see, people lie about Prince Andrew. Make up stories about him, like I did in 1988, apparently. Uh, the police are actually supporting my protest. <laughs> Either that or, want, or they want me to see me die in the freezing cold on the streets of Westminster outside the BBC. But the police have said they will not move me because I'm a peaceful protester. This is not somebody uh, exhibiting mental health uh, symptoms. This is somebody manifesting a lifelong cover-up about who abused them in childhood and they're pissed off about it and not only are they pissed off about it they are also a diagnosed psychopath that sounds bad doesn't it a psychopath of course experts in the field of psychopathy will tell you it comes from two places it's either genetic and the cause of a misshapen malfunctioning brain or it's rooted in severe childhood trauma so which one do you want to pick? that's what the experts say that psychopathy is rooted in severe childhood trauma Still livid about that Matthew Parrish. Walked by, couldn't even fucking look. Of 
course I exchanged words with Harvey Proctor didn't I the other week you won't be getting a Christmas card Harvey uh, men who've been uh, falsely accused the media wrings its hands platforms them uh, those abused in childhood have been falsely accused of being liars and fantasists nobody gives a fucking monkeys there's a lot more people walking around in this world who were abused in childhood and it's gone ignored than there are people who've been falsely fucking accused, I can tell you that now. We do not have a level playing field, do we? I'm trying to level a playing field and people can't seem to support that. I think some of you people need to go and have a look in a mirror. Ask yourself what it is you're doing on YouTube. Just there for the clicks, likes, shits and giggles. Wankers you are. I've worked myself up a very nice psychological profile on Harvey Proctor. A man who was uh, loves the limelight, some sort of a groupie to Enoch Powell, a man who likes uh, sadomasochism, young boys. Now he prances around like he's, uh, like he's Jesus fucking Christ. Taking moral high grounds, lecturing people. He gets fucking platformed by media institutions. We don't proffer the same platform to those abused in childhood. They've been dismissed, ignored. They platform these people though, because they're important. You ain't important. The media shouting and screaming about uh, Cole Beach and his allegations. Andrew Ash and his allegations. Nine years ago. Radio programmes, TV programmes, newspaper headlines. All talking about it. I'll tell you what they're not all talking about. They're not all talking about uh, Steve Shithouse, sorry, Steve Rodhouse, the man, uh, senior police officer in charge of Operation Midland, who's being looked at for uh, gross misconduct in public office because of liars who haven't been charged with criminal offences uh, and people that were filming liars, encouraging them to lie, who've also not been arrested and charged with criminal offences. Why have they got away with it when someone else didn't? Because they only needed one to make an example of, but they needed three to convince you all that anybody who says they're abused by anybody famous is a lying fantasist. I'm not a lying fantasist. I would write a statement tomorrow if the police would take one. They will not fucking take one. People on YouTube should ask themselves why the police will not take a statement. 
people on YouTube should ask themselves why there's a highly dangerous psychopath camped outside the BBC for a month and nobody's interested. Bill Maloney, why don't you come down and say hello? It'd be much better if you came down and said hello here, Bill. Don't know if I have to come looking for you. It'll look like you're uh, hiding from something, won't it? Why don't you come down and speak to me, Bill? You would admit a work with you in 2013, didn't you? Why don't you come down here and work with me, Bill? Why don't you come down here, Brian Harvey, and bring some of your, uh, your screenshots? Anyway, when I get some support, I'll start thanking people for it. But I don't get it. And I don't get people uh, sharing content or starting conversations anywhere about any of this. You could do if you want to. Because uh, there was a time when it served people's purposes to pretend that they cared about things like child abuse. It's old news now, so people don't have to pretend that they care about it.